In this video, we're going to look at an alternative method to convert nominal values into real values. We're not going to use a consumer price index in this example. In 1975, a Martin D28 guitar was priced at $600. Today, the same guitar sells for $3,000. Let's determine whether the real price of this guitar increased over this time period. In July 1975, the average hourly earnings of production and non-supervisory employees was $4.74. The price of the 1975 guitar in hours of work needed to buy then is going to be given by the following equation. The price of the guitar in 1975, $600, divided by the average hourly wage in 1975 of $4.74 means that it took a worker roughly 127 hours to be able to buy this guitar. In March 2022, the average hourly earnings of production and non-supervisory employees was now $27.06. The price of today's Martin guitar in hours of work needed to buy then is the price of the guitar today divided by the average hourly wage today. And we get an answer here of 110 or almost 111 hours. Therefore, the real purchasing power of workers in terms of Martin guitars increased over this time period. It takes fewer hours of work to buy a Martin guitar today, 111 roughly, than in 1975 where it almost took 127 hours work. The real price fell. Okay, that's my example.